we'll get into discussing uh, the UK and what's been going on there. And I know that's been highlighted by the media, but I don't I think that there's always there's always gonna be issues with anything that's do you see about. do you see an overall increase or decrease in clubs, club attendance, um, club spending? There I did a actually did this off of this little analysis on the marketplace and there's about in any given weekend there's about half a million working DJs globally. So if you think about that in terms of saturation, you think about how many people need to be going out to see these performing artists, it's uh, you know quite a lot of people. Uh, you know I don't we've had at the agency alone we've had, you know, about a 60% increase since last year in terms of working artists, um, which they wouldn't be working if there were people going out to their shows. So, I mean, that's correlated. Okay, so, so those indicators indicate to you that there is an increase in, in clubbing? There's an increase in clubbing. I think there's an increase in the check it out factor with electronic music in general. It's basic, it, it's the buzzword. It's in, in the music business. And, General. You're not really concentrating on the UK market? No, not to Well, we are paying attention to, to the whole world, yeah, so kind of um, what we are doing, what we are doing, and uh, it's not one market we are just concentrating on. Mm -hmm. not, not so much now, because what I've uh, seen is that the club scene has gone down more in, uh, in uh, the UK. So I'm not playing as much now, I'm playing more in Holland, but you see in Holland as well, there's a lot of parties. Um, but there's a lot of saturation as well. I mean, it's easy now for uh, DJs to um, develop themselves. You see a lot of things like YouTube and stuff. You can put yourself out there. There's a lot of people that will see you and it's easy for people to just pick up on that. So, whereas there was a handful of DJs that were dominating the club scene, now there's just smaller parties with uh, maybe some lesser known DJs that are doing the same thing. But I still think that it's it's I don't think if, if, if that is a good thing. I think you should, if you should do it as an artist, you should do it yourself. Don't really um, get out there and get it done by maybe a major label or something. Because also with the with the new media and everything, you know where you want to be. If you see that there's a crisis or the club scene is shifting, you are the only one that know where you want to go. And you could be flexible in that sense. Whereas maybe if people want to do a 360 view, it involves more of the same thing because labels have to take more uh, details. So they will uh, build a bigger branch. You're not you're not going to be the only one there. And I think it's very important for yourself to promote yourself as an artist in that sense. Uh, are you involved? Do you want to just be a participant in the income, or do you want to actually handle it? Um, a participant in the income. <laughs> <laughs> signing records that if we get the publishing for it or if we can do the booking or at least have, them, have the DJs play on our own events to get more income out of the And is it for the same mm -hmm. reason that Gladys indicated, that there's simply not enough money in uh, selling recordings alone? Mm -hmm. Yes. yes. Okay. And I really think that um, what, what, what Lucian just said is uh, you can market a, an artist or a record much, much better but when you have the control about the publishing and about the booking, we don't have to talk to you. I don't know, different bookers or different managers and have, you know, 
Do you guys handle all those functions in house, or do you just want to be a participant in the income? No, no, we are all handling it in house. So we have our own publishing, our own booking agency. We're doing our own management. We have our studios there. And 